Hey everybody. Uh, my next video after I finish the pistons is going to be the camshaft installation. This is my old camshaft, which is a flat tappet camshaft. And the lobes pretty much are the same for both sides. 1.730 1 1.715 Now when you compare it to my new camshaft about 1.495 and 1.395 and 1.45 these can be deceiving so this old camshaft is a flat tappet camshaft that means that the flat tappet valve rides on the camshaft it just sits here and as it goes around it lifts your bell spring up so it comes up goes down comes up you know as it goes around what's the significance of your larger one versus the smaller one you think larger is better except I have to explain this um, so you get a larger lobe but you have a shorter lifter that goes across, right? So, the roller cam is, take a look at that. See the difference mm -hmm. in height? Mm -hmm. It's a huge difference in height. So you don't need that difference on the cam lobe because it's here in the lifter. So when this lifter goes around, it has a roller, literally, roller. As it sits on the camshaft, it just rolls. Is it magnetic? No. Okay. It literally just rolls. Hence the difference when you look at the height, and then you look at the difference of my old rod, push rod, to my new push rod. Of course, this is shorter because this is taller. But it should still provide the clearance of the cylinder head valves so they don't hit the pistons. However, I'll still check them no matter what to ensure that I do not hit any of those valves on my pistons. So I'll use the valve adjusting tool. I mean, sorry, the push rod adjusting tool to make sure that these are correctly in spec. If they're not, if I gotta go shorter or longer, I will do that. So this is just a basic class on flat tappet camshaft to roller camshaft. So flat tappet, flat, roller, roller. So, because the roller is so efficient, um, you have roller rocker arms, which that'll a future video will show. The roller rocker arms have rollers also, and they sit on top of the valve. 
and push down and roll off the top of the valve. So, uh, I wish I had the other rockers to show you. Uh, other rockers are just metal and straight metal. There's no roller bearing in it. So it, it's just literally a piece of metal that just swivels. If anybody wants to know my my heads, they're Edelbrock Performer RPM heads. Part number 60259. So, oh, I forgot. Come over here. My original camshaft duration at 50 is 206 and 221. This new camshaft duration, where's that? At 50, so instead of 206, 221, it's 230, 236. Valve lift. Stock is 444-452, and this roller cam is 513-526, so this thing should rock and roll. It should be a thumper, like some compression in your chest type stuff. So, uh, to let you know the heads, I am so pissed off that I can't install my last piston because I broke a piston ring and they're not coming in until Tuesday. And my camshaft installation tool, which is literally just a stick that helps me guide it in, doesn't come until Wednesday. So before the weekend came out, I wanted to just give an update and say you're not gonna see a video till probably Thursday of next week, but I, I'm actually motivated. Thank you for the comments. Um, thank you for the inspirational comments that you put on Facebook and YouTube. And I just want to say thank you. But uh, oh, and forgot to show you double chain uh, timing gears and timing chain. But we'll finish it off by. Showing you, come over here, come on this side. I finished all seven pistons and I'm so angry, so pissed off that I broke that piston ring because I would be done and I'd be on the step of installing a camshaft right now but hey it is what it is so there you gonna put yourself in the video hi everyone <laughs> hey everybody have a great weekend thank you so much